You know, when it comes to task managers and note-taking applications, most people like to say that you should use the best tool for the job. I don't disagree, but usually when they say this, they mean you should use a dedicated app for each, versus using an all-in-one tool such as Notion, Obsidian, or Tana, which is my current favorite. OmniFocus and Things might be better task managers, but that doesn't mean they're the best tool for the job. You should definitely consider an all-in-one tool, so let's dive into it. Hey there, I'm Kelly. I'm a software developer at Rescue Time, Dean of Digital Campus at Sigma University, and I'm also a father of six children. On this channel, I like to talk about the tips and tricks that I use to get more done so that I can spend more time with those children versus, you know, just always sitting at the desk for, you know, 40, 60 hours a week. And one of the ways I do that is by using an all-in-one tool like Tama versus using dedicated task managers and note-taking apps and keeping them just separate in their own little silos. So let's start at the basics. I will handily admit that a purpose-built tool like OmniFocus or Things is definitely the best task or project manager that you can get. They're really robust from years of development. I mean, I've been using one or the other of those since 2008 when OmniFocus was first released. And frankly, they have all the features you need ready to go out of the box so there's no configuration required and you know they can do anything where some of these all-in-one tools like Tana require some workaround. See my prior video on sequential tasks in Tana if you don't know what I'm talking about. There's just one key thing missing from these purpose-built tools, and that's knowledge. Unfortunately, it's the most important part. You see, tasks and projects don't just pop out of thin air. They have context, which inspire and inform them. And it even goes the other direction as well. Most projects and even some tasks have notes and documentations and, you know, even meeting notes that are associated with them. Even though OmniFocus and Things are both fantastic apps that I have used, like I said, for, you know, 15 years now, this is the reason they have always failed me, and I wasn't able to use either one of them long term. You see, knowledge and action are connected in such a way that they really shouldn't be separated, otherwise you lose something vital. This is what always happened to me and led to my just, you know, bumping up against a wall whenever I used OmniFocus or things. Let's just take meetings for an example. Well, you see, what was happening to me is I'd sit down and I'd take all these meetings and action items all in line and I'd try to separate the action items from the meeting and then I'd have to remember to go back to them later on to add those action items and move them over to OmniFocus or things. And that alone was a pain point, but that was doable. The real problem came from the other direction. Say I'm working on a new project for rescue time. Say, you know, adding integration with iOS's screen time API, which is coming very soon, I'm happy to say. Or even one of my classes for Sigma University where one of the projects was writing a paper. Well, as I was going through OmniFocus or things on a daily basis, a lot of those tasks would require me to take notes underneath them. This could be either documentation of new code or, you know, ideas and things that inspired me that I want to include in the paper. And it was always a constant friction point, having the knowledge isolated on one side and the action items siloed on the other. When in fact, these need to belong together because knowledge and notes lead to the creation of action items and action items usually result in the creation of more knowledge and notes. These are heavily integrated. They're always connected. It comes down to a choice of where you want the friction to be. Do you want it to be in the initial system and then project and task setup like you have in Tana? Or do you want it to be when you're jumping back and forth between your task system and your knowledge system? For me, I greatly prefer the first choice. I greatly prefer to take a large chunk of time upfront to set up a system that works well for me in Tana so that I don't have to worry about the connection between tasks and ideas at a later point in time. They're all just integrated together. Now with the system that I have, I can open up any project or task and see a history of everything that I've done with that, whether it is meetings or documentations or notes or people associated with it and the communications I've had with them. It is an amazing system. And yes, it does require a little bit of overhead work, but I found that putting those tasks where they belong in the context of knowledge, my life has become greatly simplified and you know, it actually works for me. It's a system that I've been able to stick with longer than any other. Now, I'm being really sincere right now. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this in the comments down below. Please let me know where you stand and you know, even more important to me, what you'd like to hear me talk about in the next video. Till next time, bye.